guys. I'm as well from the upcoming. It's a real pleasure to speak to you today and congratulations on this fantastic series. Thank, Thank you so much. <laughs> so, uh, perhaps, Chase, I could start with you. You have one of the leading roles, well, the lead role of Samantha in this. Um, what was it about a character that kind of appealed to you when you saw the script and how did you kind of go around building uh, into this series? Yeah, I mean, I think on the outside, you when you first encounter Sam, you're like, oh, this girl's got it all figured out. She's cool. She's confident. Um, she she knows what she's doing. Um, and then as you go further into the series and, and you explore more of her character, you kind of see the cracks in the veneer. And beneath the surface, you just you just see a girl who's still growing up and um, doing her best to be independent and and you know an adult already, but at the end of the day, she's uh, she's still a little lost and she's just trying to find her chosen family. Um, so that's my favorite thing, getting to play, you know, the the interior side of it and you know how those two competing identities are at odds with each other. And what I think for you, you know, your character, Charlie, you know, builds this amazing relationship with Sam. Um, I don't know how that was to kind of bring that to screen because you kind of fall under her spell. You know, she kind of said to you, from now on, Charlie, you're going to be my project yeah. online. And then, and then, and you have kind of this innocence and kind of malleability that she can play on. And then you kind of, but you never lose your moral undertone in this. And then, and then there's this beautiful line later on where you say, you get, you know, you say to another person in the series, you know, that you gave them your heart and your body. You won't give up on her and you'll find your way back to yeah. her. It feels like quite an intense role that you got to play here. What was that like? And then building this relationship with Sam on screen. Yeah, absolutely. I, I, I think, um, yeah, that's a, that was a beautiful quote to use. Uh, he is um, someone who's been through a lot. Um, he's grieved a lot, he's been through a lot of loss, and um, when he finds Sam, that's someone who gives him life, energy, and a, and a place of belonging. Um, and so when he loses her, um, he kind of spirals, and he doesn't know what to do, and um, has to find himself, find his own footing, and he feels like, like that line specifically says, like giving up any part of himself would feel like giving up on her, and giving up on her means pretty much the end of his life for him. So um, playing this character was obviously uh, very intense. Um, always having the lingering uh, feeling of someone, you know, potentially dying or, you know, always over my shoulders was a, a very um, interesting feeling, uh, filming with that in every scene. But uh, I, I think it was such a worthwhile challenge and such a, I mean, it's something I'd never done before, especially for, uh, you know, eight episodes, hour long each. Like, it's a long time to be playing with this character and building this relationship that we got to continue building through flashbacks and, and uh, stuff as well. So that was a uh, that was fun to be able to play such a deep character with great connections to other characters, specifically Sam. Yeah, I can imagine. And, and something obviously, you know, it's a set in 2003, it's kind of all this technology and everything and there's so much culture you know the books the music and you know you as a photographer um your character in particular brings that very much to the forefront uh what were some of the highlights of filming and maybe a particular scene that stood out for you mm, i mean i feel like all that all that those cultural references uh we had we had months before we actually started shooting when we got cast and i feel like just as absorbing as much from the time period as possible. I mean, I'd already been a fan of, you know, all these 90s punk bands. Um, but yeah, just blasting that music nonstop on loop helped a lot. I feel like my favorite scenes are are the ones that I filmed with with Wyatt. Um, I feel like that relationship, just like the, the conflict of like them not being able to love each other in exactly the right way. Mm -hmm. I just feel like that's just, there's so much there. It's like an endless, but uh, an endless stream of, of goodness. But I feel like the sh there's a scene where it's New Year's Eve and mm -hmm. I've like, I've had way too much to drink and the tables kind of turn uh, for the first time. And suddenly Charles is the one that, to take care of Sam and, um, 
that turning point is just the, that was I love that scene. It's my favorite scene. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah, it's amazing. And and also for you, I know you've been in like Guardians of the Galaxy, and it's a very multiverse kind of film. Um, this series kind of has a similar thread to that because there's lots of different people and groups coexisting in mm -hmm. the series. Um, with your character, Charlie, did it kind of feel that way, kind of familiar, um, treading between all those different groups? Did it feel like a familiar setting? Um, in a way, yeah. I think um, it's interesting because watching the show, you kind of feel like almost that we all filmed together. We all like were like every group like knew each other and whatever and got to film with each other. But like there are a lot of people like I didn't meet a lot of people on this um, that I'm, you know, I, obviously I'm, I did a lot of scenes with Chase, but uh, a lot of the other people doing press, um, you know, I didn't I didn't work with them as much and or at all, really. And yeah, we just met some of the cast for the first time last night. <laughs> yeah, which was crazy. Yeah. It's like I, you know, we're, we're both such um, big parts of the show, but we just never have interacted. And that's what's so interesting is like for, for me filming, it was just like, here's my, here's the section of the story that I'm in. And this is like the part where, you know, I'm just going to do, I, I'm, I'm going to have as much knowledge as my character basically, and just go through this and, um, being able to watch the show, like actually when it was completed, um, and being able to like watch these scenes that I had read like once, but not really beyond that. And, uh, it was like cool to see the other plot threads unfold um, alongside uh, the ones that I got to film and then seeing them all come together. And it's a really magical experience. And Crime is are so popular. What do you think this kind of, what sets this apart and what do you hope you can take away from it? I mean, I feel like it's such a blend of so many different genres, but at the end of the day, like it has, it has such an overwhelming sense of, of hope and connection. And uh, it's like sneaking like vegetables like into your mac and cheese. Like I feel like it's the best, like it's, you, you think you're getting, you know, a high pace, high, like pacey, like thriller drama. Um, and you are, but then at the end of the day, it's like it has a, it has a real moral core of like, you know, reaching out to people in times of need and times of darkness to, to, to shed some light. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you guys. Thank you very much for speaking to me. Congratulations. Hope for a second series soon. <laughs> thank, thank you so, so much. much. Thank you. Take thank, care. Thank you. Bye.